All right, everyone. How is everyone doing on this Monday night? If you are watching Monday Night Raw, um, I'm not watching Monday Night Raw on the TV. I'm actually watching the national championship game between uh, North Carolina and Kansas. So far, so good for North Carolina, the Tar Heels, and um, this might be a long night for me when it comes to sports, but um. I don't want to talk about sports on here. I want to talk about something that I just got notification of uh, from Ringside News. I'm going to read you the article, and I'm going to give you my thoughts. Um, no Yankee Messiah gimmick here this time. This is the real me that's going to be talking. So, Impact star Kimberly. I'm very familiar with the name because uh, she is also an independent wrestler. Uh, she does make... Appearances for Beyond Wrestling has accused her husband, uh, Nash Carter, who this past weekend just won the NXT Tag Team Championships, of uh, physically abusing her while he was drunk. So she went on Twitter and really talked about the experience that this abuse has uh, uh, taken a toll on her. Now, I'm going to read you some of these tweets, um, and by the way, uh, these, um, comments that Nash Carter made, I, I really don't know what to, um, say about it, so, um, Alright, let's try to get into it. Uh, this is one of the tweets that uh, she came out with. And I quote, Hey, at WWE NXT, uh, this is my face after your tag champ at Nash Carter WWE got wasted and hit me so hard, he split my lip open. He told me I'm a wrestler, so I'm always mocked up. I've hid this for a year and even forgave him, but I can't hide it anymore. And yeah, so I'm not going to be showing you uh, the other photos. Uh, one of the photos, or actually both photos, um, but I did see them. You can check them out on Twitter and her lip appears swollen while there was bruising on her upper lip and her cheek. And this is a clear indication that she was domestically abused. And then um, she comes out with another tweet saying, Y'all wanted the proof? There it is. I'm sorry I backed out, but he was telling me lies all weekend to get me to not say anything. Now... This is how this all started, and I actually knew about this. Last week, uh, Kimberly went on a rant about these alleged abuse um, incidents that happened. Uh, she did end up removing these tweets, and she even tweeted about being harassed over the phone for 12 hours. And even told her fans to uh, feel shame over how they are treating her for more details. Um, she was also saying that she is the victim of emotional and mental abuse. And um, I know one of the tweets that came out, and I'm actually seeing this right now on my screen, is that she was giving Nash Carter 24 hours. And if there was no response, she was going to come forward and finally tell what has been happening since she went to the hospital in October. And um, there was actually, um, yeah, there's actually more tweets that I, I want to read to you guys. Um, she came out with this tweet on March 29th. Now, the tweet that I just read to you was also, uh, that was March 28th, by the way. So on March 29th, uh, she does this tweet, checking out for a few days, been harassed over the phone for about 12 hours, as I mentioned. Uh, no one deserves this. Just know I'm okay. Just taking time for myself. 
And, you know, she also uh, came out with uh, another tweet uh, six hours later saying, I'm sorry, but the fact that I'm not ready to talk is why some of y'all are dragging me is ridiculous. I've been going through emotional and mental abuse in hell since October to the point where I have almost taken my life. So, yes, almost taken her life. Um, look how you're treating a victim. Shame on you. And um, right now, I am seeing the pictures. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be sharing these pictures here. So, let me, let me uh, just... Go on here and get my thoughts. First and foremost, to Kimberly, I feel for you. I, I mean, I really do. Uh, this is not a troll job or anything like that. Um, Like I said, I've been following the story for over a week. I, I did not want to do this during WrestleMania week. Um, I wanted this to be all about professional wrestling. All about a celebration of professional wrestling. And that's what WrestleMania week is. Now, if what Nash Carter did is, is true. And there's always that saying, innocent until proven guilty. If Nash Carter did this to Kimberly, Nash Carter, you are the fucking biggest douchebag on the face of the earth. I don't, I don't give a fuck if you make this much money with WWE. Any man that hits a woman, in my book, you're a fucking coward. That's what you are. You are a fucking coward. Now, I'm sure fucking NXT, I'm sure Vince, Bruce Prichard, um, they're probably going to do something tomorrow when it comes to NXT, and they might take the tag team titles off of MSK. That's what I'm thinking could happen tomorrow. But, dude... You can't be fucking hitting women like that, man. Especially your own wife. Mind you, I believe that you guys got married um, during the pandemic. During the height of the pandemic. And now you're doing this to your wife? To you, Nash Carter, there's a special place for you. I'm, I'm very disappointed. I mean, this guy is such a good wrestler. And now we're finding out the real him. A guy that is treating his wife like shit. I got nothing else to say on this. Um, subscribe to the channel. Peace.